Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Rob and welcome to the gym rat world. Now today, there seems to be a divide, right? There seems to be a divide between certain overweight people and certain fit people. There are certain people out there who find it completely necessary to fat shame overweight people, whether this be in the comment section on social media or there are certain people who have actually created whole accounts that seemingly just fat shame people. So obviously from an overweight person's perspective, this isn't something that they agree with. It's not something that they completely like. So in this video, what I'm gonna cover is basically the definition of fat shaming, why these people feel righteous in their condemnation of overweight people. And finally, I'm gonna to try to explore ways that we can actually help these people without fat shaming them. So let's just get into the video. Okay, so first off, let's all get on the same page and let's define fat shaming, right? Because over the years, the definition has kind of been diluted. So first off, to me, fat shaming is hurling insults at somebody, right? Think back to middle school, high school, think about all those assholes who used to hurl insults at overweight people. That seems pretty obvious that that is fat shaming. But again, I said, you know, it's changed over the years. A lot of people think that if you're just stating facts in any context, that that is also considered fat shaming as well well from the perspective of an overweight person both of these things can definitely be hurtful obviously if they're receiving insults that's hurtful and also if they're hearing things hearing statements about their current condition that can also be hurtful and i can see how they can think of that as fat shaming but here's the difference for me now if you have some unprovoked stranger who's just stating facts maybe saying like all obese people have a high mortality rate and this is just some stranger posting on social media and they're doing it in a very douchey way yeah I can definitely see how that is fat shaming and I kind of agree with them on that because why are you post like why are you commenting on this person saying like what don't you have something better to do why why are you doing this right so I can definitely see that and I don't think we should be condoning people to do that. But other than that, you know, what do we do now? Well, from a decent human perspective, the question of whether we should be fat shaming people, that question seems to actually answer itself. Like assuming you come from a stable, loving home, would you sit there, look your mom in the eye and start hurling middle school <laughs> insults at her? Would you start berating her over and over again, calling her fat, calling her all these names in hopes that she changes? For most people, again, the answer is no. If somebody is gonna talk about somebody else's weight at all, a more tactful way seems to be the best way to do so. But why do strangers find it necessary to hurl these insults at other people? Why do they find it necessary to go up to strangers on social media, not really go up to them, but go on social media and start saying these disgusting things, right? If you need any proof of this, just go to any outspoken overweight person's social media accounts, either on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, and just check out the comments section. There's a lot of people doing this, so why are they doing this? Well, this is where it gets a little bit weird, right? This is where it gets very weird, actually, because there are certain obese people who actually say that their current state is actually healthy, right? So that is a whole situation on its own, and I'm not justifying what these shit posters are saying but I am just shedding some light on what's actually at play. This whole situation has turned into this weird us versus them mentality, right? And both sides have firmly planted their feet and shoved their head directly into the ground, which is obviously a problem. So, so what do we do about this? Well, first off, let's look at fat shaming and what it can possibly do and why we shouldn't do it. Again, you know, if, you're, if we take a somewhat scientific approach to this, you will find that 43% of people with depression are actually obese. So what does that mean? That means that if you're coming across an overweight person and you're hurling insults at them and you're fat shaming them, you're more than likely doing this to a person who is going through some sort of mental angst, right? So it doesn't seem right to be doing that, to be piling on to their mental angst. That is like going up to a malnourished homeless person and just start, hurling insults at this person saying oh you don't have a home you don't have any food you're i'm eating mcdonald's you don't have any of this you know we would consider that person who's hurling insults at this homeless person to be an asshole right we don't condone this behavior at all in our society so i think that goes the same for overweight people right if you're fat shaming someone again you're more than likely fat shaming somebody who's already going through men mental angst so 
why would you add on to it and anybody who is any insulter again should be considered an asshole and probably not doing the best for that overweight person so it seems that hurling insults at people fat shaming people that doesn't seem to be the answer right who would have thought that not insulting people would be the answer what a surprise right but look we still have a problem because over 40 percent of people worldwide um, are considered either overweight or obese and obesity has been scientifically proven to cause depression diabetes cancer heart disease and also a high probability of all-cause mortality basically we have a bunch of people in a car heading towards a Grand Canyon but they don't actually know that they're heading towards a Grand Canyon so what do the rest of us do what do the rest of the sane people do who don't want to hurl insults at people who don't want to fat shame people but they want to say hey there's a Grand Canyon up there you need to pump the brakes or you need to turn this car around you need to do something what do we do I think we should first start by actually separating strangers and friends right I think we should all come to an agreement that strangers should just keep their mouth shut and stick to their own business now I know I'm a stranger to you but you have to find this video and you have to click on this video so that's a little bit different but I really think that we should start leaving this up to the friends people that know these other people right not strangers what do we do about the people we love well I think it first starts with you right I think you need to set the example if you are looking at your friend and you're thinking well this person's overweight this person's obese I, I think first you need to look at yourself and be like okay where am I at am I in shape am I working out um, and if you're not you need to get yourself on track first and then start talking to your friend then start maybe sharing some articles with them in a non annoying way but that's where you need to start first you need to start at yourself so you can be the example for them you can be that very close example for them that they can look to and you can again start talking to them and you can also take the very direct and uncomfortable route of actually sitting down face to face and talking to them directly about your concerns you can actually sit there and talk to them and say hey there's some issues right now and I'm here for you I'm gonna help you through this process um, but there are some changes that I definitely think that you should make I think that's where we should start first if we're gonna try to help our friends the people that we love we need to make sure that we are doing our own part on ourselves right you don't want to be that hypocrite who starts telling somebody else to change their lives when you won't even change yours so first start with yourself right, so I think I answered the question of whether we should be fat shaming people or not if we stick to the definition above I think it's pretty clear that we should not be fat shaming people and I think if we're gonna help these people at all we should do it from a friend's point of view we should do it as friends we shouldn't be doing it as strangers right again you shouldn't be an unprovoked stranger commenting on somebody else's social media posts it doesn't seem to be beneficial at all but I will say that there are actually certain people who have been fat shamed into completely changing their lives and losing weight now I don't think that this is a remedy for most people which is why I'm not suggesting it which is why I'm saying that fat shaming in general is not correct but I will say again it's worth noting that there are people out there who have been fat shamed into actually losing weight so you as a friend to this other person you kind of have to decipher what kind of friend you actually have right because there are people who don't even see that they have a problem so they don't ask for help there are people who absolutely hate asking for help as well and there are also people who are just completely embarrassed of asking for help and again there's people who who need to be pushed some people actually need to be shoved into a situation so as a friend without being annoying again you kind of have to make that choice on your own you're gonna find out real quick you know what the response is gonna be um, but yeah if you're gonna you know comment on anybody else's weight I think the best way to do it is from being a friend right not a stranger so I think that's the best way moving forward hopefully this video helped you out hopefully for the shit post